friends, how are you? I hope you all are doing absolutely well. Hello, this is Surbhi Jain, Assistant Professor, SIRT Pharmacy, Bhopal. Uh, here we are going to discuss about very interesting topic that is a role of quality assurance and quality control in pharmaceutical industry. So first of all, we should understand what uh, actually the what is actually the QA and QC. So before proceeding to that, first of all, I would like to draw your attention to about the departments of pharmaceutical industry. Let's, so let's take an example of our home. As in our home, there are so many rooms like uh, our kitchen, our bedroom, our study room, right? So just as we compare our home with the pharmaceutical industry, it is also having various departments like QA, QC, PDL, production, RA, etc. And every individual department has a specific role in the pharmaceutical industry. So for this, we are having one expert, pharmaceutical expert with us, Mr. Anil Ramnani. He will very wonderfully explain us about what are the role of QA and QC, that is quality assurance and quality control in pharmaceutical industry. So please let's watch this video. Hello friends, now I will give information about the quality control department of pharmaceutical industry. So friends, first we have to understand why the quality is needed. It's needed because the pharma companies has so much competition which is other. They have to sustain, they have to provide good quality at low cost. And there are some international standards set on the quality of the products which are marketed in the regulated countries like US and Europe. So quality to sustain a quality is a big task for the pharmaceutical company. What exactly the quality control team does? It checks the quality of the all procured raw materials starting from the raw materials, solvents, excipients. It checks the quality of the in process. It checks the quality of finished products. For that testing purpose, there are uh, so many advanced instruments installed in the quality control laboratory which comprises instruments like HPLC, GC, AS, IR, polarimeter, dissolution, disintegration tester, viscometer, so many of them. So these all instruments are equipped with uh, advanced softwares which had individual uh, credential logins which give, uh, provide the surety that the obtained or generated results are accurate and precise. So how does quality control team works? It works according to the standard operating procedures to maintain good laboratory practice in the quality control team. For each instrument and each software there is there would be one SOP which provide information that how the standard practice should be followed and in simply pharma company quality control team or any other department follows only one rule that the what the SOP written in the SOP should be followed exactly and what is followed and what is uh, task is done shall be transcribed and shall be written to the document. So the document is the heart of quality control team. What uh, data we generate, what analysis we do. We keep all traceability of that analysis. Suppose what chemical reagents we use in the analysis, what instrument we use, the instrument was calibrated or not. And the analyst who perform the analyst is uh, at the uh, background of education as well as uh, competencies he is qualified or not to perform that test. So all these aspects are covered in quality control tree. The type of sample, if we discuss that, how, how many types of sample uh, are analyzed in the quality control laboratory. It is uh, APIs, solvents, uh, it's in-process uh, finished good samples, then final product and stability samples. So why stability analysis is performed in the quality control laboratory? It is performed according to ICH guideline. It's a Q1AR2 which provide the information that how stability studies shall be conducted and in stability uh, the sample is kept in the uh, stability chambers at uh, variant storage conditions. Uh, some examples are accelerated conditions, intermediate conditions and long term conditions. 
which are decided based on the uh, uh, the country where we are going to market the product which comes under which zone in stability the same batch kept in the uh, respective storage condition is tested at the different different intervals time intervals like 3 say 3 months 6 months 9 months 12 months up to shelf life of the product so in quality control laboratory it's not necessary that uh, every time the results are observed as passing with the defined limits sometimes it fails so there are uh, the what laboratory personnel do at that time they go uh, they do investigation for that thorough investigation and the purpose and motto of the investigation would be either the product has the failure or some laboratory error lead to that failure so accordingly the investigation documents are prepared and the justification is made that if the product has problem the investigation is also extended up to the manufacturing level also from the manufacturing if there is an uh, some reasons which lead to the failure of product if we talk about the test performed in the quality control laboratory they are like assay to determine the label claim the drug is available in, as per the label claim or not there is an impurity test which is called related substance or organic impurities we test that the sample did not contain any of degradant material or any of uh, impurity materials which are harmful to human body so that is also analyzed uh, uh, there is a residual solvent test which checks that the uh, solvent used in the process of the manufacturing of the uh, tablet or capsule or uh, any other formulation it is well within the allowable limit of that solvent which which is decided based on the class 1 2 3 solvent uh, carcinogenic limits uh, if then we talk about the in vitro dissolution which should be then compared with the in vivo dissolution disintegration of the product so these are the just synopsis of the quality control trim activities i hope uh, you got the some brief idea about this thanks